Hello, old high nights. Today is Tuesday. It is August 29th, and I've got two things to talk about today. Two, count them one, two. The first thing is gold slips. Okay, gold slips are given when people do something extra awesome. Not just meet the expectations, but maybe they really help out a friend when it wasn't necessary. Like you see someone fall, you go check on them, you pick, help them pick up their stuff. Um, maybe you hold the door open for some people um, when you don't have to. It's that thing that you're doing without being asked that's um, above and beyond um, what we expect you to do. And then your teacher, if you get noticed doing it, then you get a gold slip prize. They fill out a form and they uh, send it to me. And then I send you an email with a certificate that says, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. And then you are entered into a raffle for a gold slip prize. And then every once in a while on announcements, we find a gold slip winner. So that's what we're going to do now is see who's coming up for a gold slip prize. So this is our first um, time to do that this year because I have six kids that have gotten a gold slip so far and three teachers who have given a gold slip. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you that those three teachers, they're getting prizes too. Oh. So Miss Dollard, Miss Davis, and Miss Wood, I need you to come down to the office and get a little prize yourself. So way to go. Round of applause for your teachers on that. Okay, now let's check out who our gold slip prizes are. All right, everybody, let's see who our first gold slip winner is. Okay, spin the wheel. It's only six of you. I'm really proud of all six of you. Oh, the winner is Caden. Okay, Caden, come down and get a gold slip prize. But let's do another one just for fun. All right, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, look, it is Cade. Way to go, Cade. Okay, you come down and get your gold slip prize too. Goodness, I love celebrating good kids. So um, it's always fun to win a prize, but if you have somebody with, that was on the wheel in your classroom, you need to stop, pause, and let's give them a round of applause. Way to go. Super proud of all of you. The rest of you, let's see if you can do it. All right. Um, the second thing I want to talk to you about is tomorrow is map testing. So sometimes uh, people get anxious about map testing. Uh, sometimes people like roll their eyes and they're so annoyed with map testing. But I wanted to tell you why map testing is something that we like to use as your teachers and as your principal. We like to know how we can serve you well. Part of that is knowing what do you know and what do you need help with? Where do we need to push you? We want to know based on how you answer your questions, if we need to get you some extra help in something that you might not be understanding, that you should be understanding, or we want to know if you need to be pushed to the next level and if you are past what we're doing right now. So the map test, what it does is it gives you questions and then if you start answering them correctly, the questions are going to get harder and then it'll go, oh, they're starting to miss a lot of questions. We're getting too hard. So then they'll start making them a little easier. And then like, oh, they're getting them all right again. And then they'll get a little harder and back and back and forth and back and forth, back and forth until they get your just right area. Right? So if you scored really high in the spring on map, you might open the test and it start you with really hard questions. And then if you miss them, they'll start getting easier. If you get them right, they'll start getting harder. It's okay if you've never heard of some of the stuff they're asking because that's the way the map test works. It's not necessarily going to test you on the things that you've been taught in class. It's going to test you to see what do you know? We're just trying to figure it out. Okay, so do your best or at least give your best effort, but don't stress out about it. Do your best and forget the rest. It's all good. We're not worried about it. You just do your best, all right? Don't click too fast. Don't cry. If your score isn't what you want it to be, don't worry. We'll help you, and we'll get a better score next time, okay? Okay, so now that we've talked about all that, 
Join me for the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Okay, you guys, you know this is my favorite part, so why don't you say it along with me? Remember, make today your best day yet. Bye.